All right, man, fuck all that, bro. If you follow me on Twitch or whatever the case may be, I call myself Y2 Cam, but my name is Cameron. And long story short, bro, I just finished a stream with no niggas watching. My YouTube videos ain't getting no views. And I'm making this video for the niggas that's just starting out. Like me. Like, I'm a couple months into this shit. And the motherfucker frustrated. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, man, this shit, like, it's, it's bad enough you playing the game and it's getting on your nerves. And motherfuckers ain't watching, bro. Like, and you put money into this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm here to t talk to the niggas that's trying to start out doing this shit or is in between thinking about it. And it's like, bro, shit ain't popping off. Shit ain't working, this, that, and the third, bro. I'm here to tell you, bro, I'm going through what you're going through right now. And you, long story short, you got to keep grinding, bro. This shit ain't pretty. Unless you, no disrespect, unless you're a female, because a lot of simps out here, bro, like, even if you smack, even if you ugly, at the end of the day, bro, niggas is going to slide. That's not to say that, you know, they don't work hard, whatever the case may be, but that's just how that's just how it is, man. Like, th I'm just keeping it honest, bro. It's, it's way more thirsty niggas that's willing to dump money in a, in a chick uh, account than it is for like or anybody else and that's not blaming women or none of that stuff i'm just keeping it 100 like and they still have it hard coming up but like i'm just talking to you like keeping it 100 percent real like if you a nigga and you just trying to jump into this streaming content creating shit bro it's a grind you got it in order to get to where you want to go bro you got to grind you got to go to the part where your videos ain't hitting like that you ain't getting no views for real Ain't nobody really sliding through your stream. You ain't even making no money on this shit. Like, on Twitch, I just hit affiliate to where I can start making some type of semblance of money, bro. And I made $4, bro. I ain't even going to hold you. I ain't going to act like I'm balling, bro. Like, it's a green screen behind me, and it's blacked out. I ain't even want to break it down because, like, every day, bro, you get up and do this shit, and, it don't, and the results don't be what you want it to be, bro. It's frustrating. It's going to make you want to do something else. And that's what stops you from doing what you need to do. Like, <clears throat> I'm be honest with you. I had this YouTube page back in 2008, and I got partnered. But I was making videos. At first, I was just putting the, like, mixtape songs, like songs that niggas didn't have and stuff like that. I was just putting it online just to, just to fuck around with it. But then I started making, like, actual content with my phone. And niggas was fucking with it, but I didn't take it serious. That's back in the day when niggas just started cashing out. Like, if I knew... What I know now back then, bro, I would have kept making videos and I for sure would have cashed out. But I quit because I didn't take it seriously. And then the consistency is also key, bro. You can't keep an audience, right, waiting for you. It's so many people putting out content, especially now with a lot of people not working, a lot of people stuck at home. Everybody got a phone. Everybody got a camera. Everybody got an internet connection. Everybody recording something. So how can you compete with 24-7 nonstop content creation even if people ain't looking to make content, they making content. They recording fights outside. They may be, that may be their only video, but that is taking views from whatever you trying to do. So you just got to be consistent and keep grinding. You also got to have quality. You got some quality. Now, I'm not the richest nigga in the world, and this stuff all together cost me maybe a uh, 1000 plus. You know what I'm saying? I bought a piece at a time, bro. You ain't If you ain't got it like that, man, just grab what you can. You know what I'm saying? Just start out somewhere. You got PS4, you can stream from that. Use your headset to talk. Or if you got your phone and you got some ideas, bro, shoot that shit, bro. It's niggas fucking, you see the weird fucking meme compilations and shit like that, man. It's all type of, it's an audience for everything these days, man. So it, you definitely can just keep, just record anything, man. But you got to stay consistent, bro. And I'm just telling you right now, like for me, I, I'm getting frustrated. Like I didn't quit like three times today, but I'm going to keep doing it because this, this is really what I want to do. Like I want to make content. I want to be able to talk to people, this, that, and the third, but I know that people is going to reach this point because you always see videos on YouTube about how to make a YouTube video, how to do stuff on Twitch, how to make stuff on TikTok, how to make stuff on Instagram. And it'd be super, 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 um, it's just like super like sterile, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just real mainstream, regular, run-of-the-mill advice. They don't really tell you from a position of a nigga that's going through it. It's always a white dude with a slick back, you know, with the best camera already, computers glowing in the background, his whole room fucking levitating and shit, talking about what you need to do as a streamer or whatever the case may be. And they're giving you advice, but that's just run-of-the-mill advice. They do those videos because they get views, because everybody and their mama is looking up how to become successful. Ain't no blueprint, bro. Like, 
I got 60 followers on Twitch. You need 50 at least to become affiliate. That's when you start getting paid. The majority of my followers, bro, came when somebody raided my account. And raid basically is like they take their audience when they finish, basically say, hey, slide over here to this person and watch them. And a random person did that to me because we was playing the same game and not a lot of people watch this game. So that was a stroke of luck, bro. It's the same thing as like going viral for some people. You record something. And next thing you know, it make a million views and you on a Today Show and everything like that, bro. You never know what can happen. But <clears throat> but at the end of the day, bro, I'm just making this video for the niggas out there that's just starting or is in the middle of it and is not seeing the results that they want to see, bro. You just got to keep grinding, man. That's the that's the bottom line. These niggas is not really going to tell you what it is for real, like what you really going to go through and the emotions you going to feel, especially if you black and you from the hood like me. Like it's so much money being made around you in a different way. Or you just like, fuck it, bro. I just, you know what I'm saying, grab me a little 9 to 5 or get back to my 9 to 5. That's another thing, bro. You got to put time and effort in this shit. Like, this got to be like your job, bro. Like, what one thing I started doing, like, is like waking up, hopping in. Like, even though you do that anyway, but like, I get ready for this stream like I'm getting ready for, like to actually go to work. I get dressed, hop in the shower, you know, and then uh, do my hair, whatever the case may be, like, just to make it feel like you're going to work. It's got to be like a routine. You got to look at it like it's work. So whatever you got to do to make yourself see this as a job, then that's what you got to do. Also, bro, if you got a support system, that's perfect. Even if it's one or two people, they'd be like, all right, bet. That's like a good idea. Or somebody can kind of bounce ideas off of, but that's perfect as well. Um, And if you see people doing like watch other people, don't watch their success, but watch like watch their videos and look in the background for like uh logos of like the, the the stuff they got you know what i'm saying if you can't reach out to them and ask them because they got you know they might have a lot of followers or just reach out to your favorite person that you watch online like hey bro what's that that you use for your microphone and if they don't say nothing but just look at it and type it in google like oh black microphone with three dots on it and then you will go to images and you'll see like oh that's the one then look at the reviews and this that and the third like bro just kind of uh research research you know what I'm saying? Other YouTube videos to see what you want to add to your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like people go to school and they learn for years, you know what I'm saying, to do their job. If this one this one you want this to be your job, bro, you gotta do the same thing, bro. But the main story main thing is, bro, you gotta grind. You gotta just kinda get through the the, the tough and rough spots. Like the times where you wanna fucking quit. Like today is a day where I want to fucking quit. Like, bro, I'm playing two K and niggas is busting my ass and like you know regular video game shit happen on top of niggas not even watching so you like bro i'm going through all the man fuck this game bro you <laughs> i cut the shit off i cut the stream off and i was like fuck it but at the end of the day bro i'm gonna be back tomorrow and i'm gonna be that back the next day and i'm gonna keep trying to get better and i'm gonna keep trying to learn this shit because at the end of the day bro this is something that i want to do so i want to communicate to niggas that's really trying to do this the same way and you're not getting no views and you're not getting no no uh you ain't getting to where you want to be you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you got your mindset on something that you want out of this shit and it's not coming fast enough so you just got to keep grinding man like bro i'm right there with you hopefully one day i make an update video and be like hey man shit remember that video i made last time i did xyz but i'm for right now bro what i'm going through i'm just trying to give advice to somebody else that's that's trying to do the same thing as me or everybody else and just to let you know, man, it's going to be days exactly like this where you want to give the fuck up and just be pissed. Because, like, bro, like, it, it it's like, bro, you just got to think, like, bro, sometimes this shit, you may think, like, bro, this shit ain't for me. Don't say that, bro. Because if you say that, you're going to start quitting. You're going to start, all right, instead of streaming or instead of making a video, you might do something else. Or instead of, you know what I'm saying, you know, looking up what you need to buy you spend it on something else and then at the end of the day bro you didn't let that opportunity pass you back because you didn't you know what i'm saying stay consistent another thing is bro even if i always say this like even if you only got maybe two or three views or a hundred something views bro, you gotta look at that shit like i don't know you got look at it like this bro if you put that amount of people in your living room bro you gotta jump and party you know what i'm saying that's you just gotta look at it like that like it's going to be always like at least a handful of people or at least one or two people that's going to fuck with your stuff that's going to always keep coming back. And nothing, you just got to self-promote, man. Like, get online, get hip, get hip to what's going on, look at the trends or whatever like that, and be you. Like, I can't tell you not to put on a wig and uh make skits. You know what I'm saying? That ain't me, but that might be you. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you not to overact 
and jump up and down and act crazy and all that stuff. I can't tell you that because that might be the way for you to make it and get to where you got to be. That might be your lane. But I'm just saying, like, don't quit. Don't give up, bro. Because, like, at the end of the day, if this is what you really want to do, you got to keep grinding. And this is for anything. Like, if you got a goal, bro, you just got to keep going through it. Like, this is one of them days where it just pissed me off. And I was like, bro, fuck this shit, bro. I'm in front of these hot ass fucking lights in front of this green screen, bro. Like, yeah, another thing, bro, this technology get fucking hot, bro. Like, you see the fan, like, the fan is back there to keep it cool because all these components and shit is running. That shit is fucking hot, bro. Don't nobody want to sit in front of this shit all day for nothing. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, it's like you could be doing something else, but at the end of the day, like, if that's something you want to do, keep grinding, bro. Like, it, well, what's, what's, what's worse? A little temperature change or dealing with the regret that you never did something that you want to do. Especially now, bro. You don't know how the world going to turn out. At least you got the satisfaction that you started getting a piece of what you wanted to do. Like, you got, like, damn, you look back on it like, damn, like, I had some views or niggas was fucking with it. Like, bro, why I quit? Like, bro, you get, that's nothing. You get in your head. Like, a lot of times, for me, I ain't even going to say you. I get in my head a lot of times like, man, fuck this shit, man. This is weak. Like, I'm playing myself, bro. Like, this shit ain't going nowhere. Motherfuckers ain't even watching this shit. But you got to, like, I'd have had that regret twice. Like, back in the day on YouTube, you could actually leave comment on people's actually actual YouTube page. It was kind of like MySpace in a way. So I'm just fucking with my page. I'm looking at it like, and I forgot they even had this page. But this motherfucker saying, yo, you should, uh, that was a good video. What's the next one? This, that, and the third. Like, bro, like, somebody was looking forward to seeing you make content for them. And I didn't deliver. I did another thing. I did like a reaction video with my homie. Now, we quit because this coronavirus shit popped off. And I'm not trying to be in nobody's face. I ain't trying to get sick for nobody. Even if I don't get sick, I don't even want to do the test. I don't want nothing in my nose. You know what I'm saying? I'm That, that don't look comfortable. But I just now, a couple of days ago, seen a comment where somebody was like, hey, can you react to Conor McGregor or something like that? But I didn't even look. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, that's, that's a missed opportunity for me not doing my due diligence and taking it serious like i could have looked at that comment and that just could have started the ball rolling that could have been a nigga that's gonna come back like all right bad he react not only did he look at my comment and appreciate what i said but he actually took my advice and did it and provide the content i was looking for that's a nigga that's willing to pay money to see what he want to see you feel you feel what i'm saying like bro that's a missed opportunity so you always gotta keep your mind like bro you gotta keep grinding because even if they don't say nothing bro somebody gonna come across your shit and watch it bro like you gotta stay on the positive side bro you can't be thinking negative and be like damn man fuck this shit this shit ain't this shit ain't it man like i don't know like you really gotta be like man like how many videos right of people that you watch and you and you watch their videos consistently or enough to where you you make it a routine like oh they just put something else up let me watch it they started out somewhere too, you know what I'm saying? Like you one of the people that watch their shit. So even if they getting a lot of views to you, they ain't getting a hundred, ten million, you know what I'm saying, ten million, twenty million, thirty, forty, whoever these big videos is making, you know what I'm saying? They making some views. So obviously they was at where you was at, man. So I know I'm all over the place, but at the end of the day, man, I'm I'm right there in that spot where it get hard, where you gotta grind and you gotta make a decision where it's this like you feel like man this shit ain't for you but it is man trust me you just gotta keep grinding and i made this video more for myself to me to vent but i know somebody somewhere feeling the same way man because like this shit is hard man i ain't giving a lot to you it's hard especially when you want this to turn into something and it's not and you bank not banking your life but you kind of is at the same time because you took you the the time and energy that you putting into this you could be putting into something else that you think could be making you money and then a lot of times you got to think about shit. It's not about the money. It's about the opportunity or it's about the grind. Me, I'm not going to hold you. This shit is about the money for me. It's too much money on the internet that they handing out bags just for niggas to do shit like this. Sit, sit and talk in front of people. Like, it's too many podcasts. There's too many niggas sitting in front of the TV just looking at shit and, and, and getting giving reactions and making cheese. I won't end. You know what I'm saying? Like, I won't, I want parts. Like, I want a bag too. So, but I got to grind for that bag because they platform is bigger than mine you know you see what i'm saying but at the end of the day if that's what you want you got to keep grinding for it. i've got to keep re uh reiterating that like bro like if that's what you want if whatever lifestyle or whatever you want out of this shit bro you got to grind for it so it's gonna be days like this man like just kind of walk it off 
get back to it the next day. Because if you don't, bro, you're going to regret it. Trust me. I don't regret this shit two times. Like, when I first started my page, you can you can give it whatever because I was just fucking around. Didn't nobody know what YouTube was going to turn into. Second time around, bro, I was showing my face. I was talking. Not only did I did I not get back on there, I deleted the videos on top of that. So now I can't even go back to see who those people was. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was like, hey, bro, I seen your video on YouTube. You was talking about this. I was like, oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and delete this shit, bro. I don't know. It just it just felt weird having a nigga niggas watching you. You know what I'm saying? Like it just didn't feel right at the time. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't accustomed to that type of type of uh type of uh whatever that lifestyle. But now as I got get older and I got a cohesive plan that I want to carry out, I regret not doing that shit sooner because the grind times now. That by the way, that was back in 2010. So the grind, 2012, pardon me. So the grind times would have been like 2013, maybe summer 2014. Who knows? I might have hit a lick by then. But I got to go through it now because I didn't, I wasn't consistent with it. So this is something that I know for a fact that I just made affiliate at the end of last month on Twitch. I had a video that did like a couple thousand views playing Final Fantasy. Now imagine if I put my time and effort and playing that game when it was out and having those thousand views and carrying it over to doing something else. That's what I'm talking about, being consistent and regretting the opportunities that you have. Because now the frustration that I have grinding, knowing that you could have been through this already. But at the end of the day, bro, I'm still trying. I'm still grinding it out. Because regardless, even if I was doing it back then, I would have had to grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, this shit ain't going to come easy. Especially, I'm behind it with you, especially when you're a black dude. They kind of push you into a box of like playing 2K or, you know what I'm saying, doing other shit. There's not a lot of niggas that's getting big views from what I've seen. I might be wrong doing like, you know, like RPGs or whatever the case may be. But it's just, you just got to break through, bro. You just got to break through. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a quit talking niggas' heads off. But, man, like, bro, the moral of the story is, bro, this shit is for the niggas that's really trying to do this shit. Like, this shit is for the niggas that's trying to get this shit started, trying to um, make this into something, and it ain't looking like what you want it to be. Because like I said before, you can search, and they not going to really tell it how to really hit you. Like, damn, that shit ain't going to be looking right. You know what I'm saying? So this is for a nigga that's looking to see what what the fuck is going to happen when you first start. Like, bro, this. Like, you going to be mad as fuck. Like, you going to be frustrated or whatever the case may be. So if you want this shit, bro, you got to have to keep grinding. So that's what I'm... That's where I'm at, man. It took me two to three months. And, and then on top of that, bro, like, I started my page on Twitch in 2017. So if it only took me two months, basically, two months, when I hit my goal to start at least qualifying to get paid, again, how long you think it would have took if I had just kept going from 2017 to 2020? Who knows where I would have been? So the grind really ain't that long when you look at it. It's just feel long when you win it. But once you out of it, you look back like, man, that shit wasn't nothing. I don't know what I was tripping off of. So don't quit, man. Just keep grinding. Keep, keep grinding, man. So this is for whoever. This is black background like it's Martin when it come on. But whatever. It's, <laughs> uh, this is for whoever, you know what I'm saying, just need to, just to hear this or just need somebody to talk about uh you know what you go through when you first start this shit man because it ain't a cakewalk it's not it's not easy it might be easy a stroke of luck but for the most part bro when you starting this shit bro it's it's gonna be a little rough so you gotta keep doing what you gotta do so man it's just for you know what i'm saying this is for the niggas out there that's really trying to start this shit and make some money off of it and see results and it ain't hit man just keep doing it uh i'll be back tomorrow with this shit man streaming to uh the penny uh the little napkin and chip from spongebob but we gonna keep getting it till we got like a million people, man. So I'm out. Peace. Two hours later. Man, fuck this shit. See, you can hook me up with a pack because I need me some fucking money right now. This shit ain't working.